Boom! Good morning from the Flying Can Ranch from Cedar Creek Lake, Texas. Well, actually almost afternoon. <coughs> I was um, running around the other day and I found something. So, if you're looking for something high powered, uh, that's not for you. If you're looking for something that's just kind of fun, this is for you. So, I went into a, a uh, Academy Sports and I found this uh, Daisy Bullseye Model 1999. And we'll come down it. And we'll come down it. You know, I added that scope to it, by the way. Just so you know. We'll work it down this way here. And we'll come over here. Flip it over. Pretty much the same story. We'll get it right there. And we'll work it around. And, um... Work it around and like that. So, in a nutshell, um, this is a 177 caliber BB only, and it does about 350 feet per second. I think the maximum range is like 165 yards, but we're going to stick with this 350 feet per second, and then we'll go with there. You know, because this is not made for long range or actually real detailed work it's just a fun gun the overall length is 35.4 inches the barrel length i'm guessing is i don't know 16 19 something like that and um it does have this uh weaver type rail on the top and it does have a cross bolt safety so if you push that little safety to the right, you're in safe. And back to the left, you are in fire mode. And it holds about 650 BBs total. So just going from front to back, this is just your pretty classic of these, uh, of these extremely budget BB guns. Uh, kind of a hollow sounding stock. And we come down here, again, this rail was on the gun. Um, the trigger is plastic. I'm just going to tell you it's a plastic trigger, but what are you going to get for, for right about, I think it was, I don't know, 49 or $54 at Academy Sports. And if you want to try snapping this thing like you're in the Westerns, I wouldn't do that. It's, this is all plastic also, and you'll probably break it off. Um, no stippling around here whatsoever, but I didn't have any problem with it. None here. Kind of unique orange barrel band. I don't know why they left it that way. And then you have an up, open buckhorn sight here. It is non-fiber optic, and I never really found a way to adjust it. And then you have a fiber optic sight here in the front. Now, I have shot this without the sights on it. And uh, I made it work. I just put the scope on. It looked cool. So to load this, you're going to uh, don't push up on this little lip right here. You want to put your finger right on that arrow and push that in. And then lift up. And then you can load your BBs in there. Again, it holds 650 total. And you can shut that up. Now, one thing I do, by the way, is... I usually just plug up the end of a straw, and if you're very, very careful and get your finger just right, you can just slowly tilt that. Well, that doesn't even go in, and you can get them in there. I, I can't really show you exactly how I do it with my camera running. Need both hands, kind of a thing. So that's how that works. And then you'll just push down on that, and you're shut. So it's, it's just a fun gun. You know, you can. Grab it, ratchet it all the way up. Let's see if I can hit a can while it's going here. And... Yep, I did. So, we're going to do a little shooting review with it. Don't get excited. It's not a target gun. This is not a pesting gun. It would be a, a good training thing for, for youth. Low power if you're with them when they're doing it. And uh, it's just fun. I mean, it's, it's not...
super, super. I mean, I got some good results with it, but it's not a target. It's not a pesting. It's just fun or training or both. So we're going to put together a little uh, shooting review with it. I, I'm not really don't thinking I'm going to try to hit a metal can. I don't think it'll permeate that. Might try it just for fun. But we'll uh, put together a shooting review. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all this stuff in the air. But at any rate, we'll get that posted up. I'll get this posted up first. And then we'll let you kind of see what it does and doesn't do. And, and then we'll go from there. So that's how we do it at the Flying Can Ranch. We'll see you in a little bit.